but I got Athena, this little side puppy here, or actually adolescent puppy. All right, when I took her in a couple days ago, the main issue that the owners were having was her being very oral, very mouthy. Uh, she still has some pretty good jagged teeth in there, and she's not afraid to use them. And that's not unusual. All puppies and young dogs, that's how they are. They're very oral animals. They don't have fingers. That's how they explore. That's how, you know, that's how they communicate sometimes, right? It also can become a very uh, reinforcing thing for the puppy, especially if there's people who will react, and, you know, react to that and ouch and move and all that because they are really kind of shaping us. It's very hard to tell people to relax. And, and to understand why when the puppy's, you know, gnawing on them. So I believe in a couple things. Number one, I believe in using a lot, you know, my, my kennels and a crate, you know, when I'm early on in my training. Number one, I don't like having a dog loose in my house unless either my wife or I, responsible adults, are 100% responsible for their behavior while they're out of containment. Okay, if we're not willing to watch them, okay, and be 100% responsible, I firmly believe in putting them in their kennel. Um, even when, even while you're home, right? When I do that, I like to give them something that they that, that will help to not just pacify them, but give them a little stimulation. Number one, I like using hard toys for the for the puppy and my dogs. Kong toys. You can take a little bit of peanut butter and put in there. Uh, sterilized bones. Okay, I like to use sterilized bones. Once again, you can get some of that uh, cheese that you can, you know, aerosol cheese that you can put in there. All right, that works fine. They love these just blank, trust me. They also sell them with some of the cheese filling and stuff like that. I don't know that I want to buy that. Anyhow, I love like these Kong toys, these little biscuit biscuit pouches here. They're very durable. A puppy can't eat this, and you got a biscuit in there. They're trying for hours to get it. All right? I also believe in my toys, toys that are mine, okay? And this one here is a chuck -it ball, okay? Because I wanted to teach the puppy that it's okay to bite, but on things that I, I offer them not my flesh, okay? Anytime, every time a puppy does put teeth on you, it's really hard to tell people to relax when that's happening, but that's really what you need to do. Or give it an alternate behavior like sit, something that you're going to reinforce, all right? So this is my toy. This is a training aid. I will use flippy flyers. I will use, but I like something like this that you can play a little tug of war with, okay? So anyhow, what I'm going to do here is to demonstrate that. Now, I've never, I've never on Athena bought that toy back from her, okay? Every time I've got it back, it's because she dropped it or I pulled it out of her mouth. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to walk her just a little bit. Once again, I'm going to go very, very slow. I'm going to reinforce her attentiveness, willingness, and calm and complicit behavior. She's being a great puppy right here, and I'd be a fool if I didn't pay attention to that. So as I walk, if she looks away, looks one way or another, I'm just very quietly going to change direction. I'm going to thank her a lot for coming my way. Most of it's going to be with my voice. I always like to pet my puppies first or my dogs. That adds more value to the environment, to you, and to the exercise. So we're just going to start walking. And once again, I'm just kind of quietly watching, watching Athena. And she's walking right with me. That's unbelievable. I want to change direction. Will she follow me? Very nice. Very good. Very good. Whatever she thinks she wants to do, I'm just going to do exactly the opposite. I'm going to change direction. I'm using an easy walk harness on her. Okay, and a very loose leash. And she's doing wonderful. So once again, will she follow me? Very good. All right, so for that, I'd like to play ball with her now. I want to I wanna play a little tug of war. I want to get her a little bit engaged in this. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to give her a choice. I'm going to put this piece of food I have in my hand right on her nose, and I'm going to command out. Out. Good. And as soon as she spits it out, you want to you wanna give her that click and give her that reward. So she had a choice, a ball that she's very, very active with. Very good, very good, or out. Very nice, very nice, good. Okay, very nice. Let's see if we can do one more time. She says, I don't even want that ball anymore. I want that food you have. All right, so that's all we need to do right there. All right, that's, that's how I start that. And out means out. Thank you very much.